you think an average wedding is pricey, you should see how much a royal wedding costs, and you'll never guess who foots the bill. Many people dream of feeling like royalty on their wedding day, and couples are often willing to spend big on their nuptials to make it happen. In fact, the average wedding in the US costs an astounding $28,000, according to 2021 data collected by The Knot. Obviously, though, the royals spend considerably more on their weddings than we commoners. Watch virtually any wedding involving the British royal family over the last few decades, and you'll see all the bells and whistles. From designer dresses to horse-drawn carriages, castles as venues and top-notch catering, there's also usually an impressive guest list of queens, kings and famous friends to impress. Unsurprisingly then, royals typically rack up hefty price tags when they organise their big days. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle married in 2018, for instance, their ceremony reportedly cost $45.8 million, while Prince William and Princess Catherine spent a little less at around $34 million. The so-called wedding of the century between then Prince Charles and Princess Diana far exceeded both, costing $110 million adjusted for inflation. But who pays for these fancy events? Well, the answer is a little complicated. Many of the items you'd expect to see as part of a standard wedding budget – a cake, formal wear, decorations, a venue, and music – are paid for by the royals themselves. Kensington Palace confirmed this when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their wedding, noting simply in an official statement, the royal family will pay for the wedding. Similarly, a Clarence House official shared with The Globe and Mail that the firm would foot the bill for any of the costs you normally associate with a wedding when Prince William and Princess Catherine tied the knot. Catherine's family, who were the owners of a successful party supplies business, were able to contribute financially to the royal wedding, although Meghan Markle's weren't expected to do the same because they're markedly less well-off. However, Markle was likely responsible for buying her own dress. With millions spent on each wedding, you might wonder how exactly royals can afford these high costs. Certain high-ranking members of the family receive money via the Sovereign Grant, which is funded by the British government and taxpayers, alongside various other private streams of income. In this sense, you could feasibly argue that the British taxpayer helps pay for royal weddings, albeit indirectly. One of the costliest expenses associated with royal weddings is security. Prince William and Princess Catherine's nuptials, for instance, tallied up $8.7 million for security and policing alone. And the majority of these costs are funded with taxpayers' money. Understandably, many Britons aren't happy about having to pay for such lavish events. I don't think the British people really care that much. They're just interested in the, uh, the pompous uh, goings-on, the nice, the nice long dress, and that's it. In fact, Republic, an anti-monarchy organisation, launched a petition ahead of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's wedding, demanding that the royal family cover all costs, including security. Republic CEO Graham Smith argued, Local services and police are under serious financial strain. The idea that the taxpayer will be expected to pay for a multi-millionaire's wedding is appalling. The priority must be on local services and helping those in need. A 2018 YouGov survey also revealed that 57% of British adults felt the firm should pay for all wedding expenses, while 36% believed the government should pay for the security required for such events. Exorbitant police protection costs are an issue even at relatively smaller affairs, such as Princess Eugenie's 2018 nuptials. One estimate suggested that taxpayers shelled out around £2 million for the minor royal security fees. You can see why people aren't too happy about it.